Perfect Love Chapter 3 An Escape of Love in Families Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister, whom they have seen, cannot love God, whom they have not seen. And He has given us this command, anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister, 1 John 4 20-21 NIV. The Word of God is true and the negative things we see happening in families and the world are people who rebel or go against God. Today there are a lot of families killing each other for absolutely nothing and no reason at all. People have become consciously woke and it is impacting the world negatively. Why wake up and kill your family members? It's very sad honestly because a lot of demons are taking over people. The demons are, mental health, anger, depression, envy and jealousy. When these demons fill you up you forget yourself and you do your worst. If an individual is empty, the devil devours him and takes complete control over the person. This is the time you hear more about incest. Fathers sleeping with their kids and people dying over food like french fries. It's very wild in these streets. People are killing their families over mistresses and side chicks makes you wonder that a lot of family foundations are not deeply rooted in the perfect love of God. I watched an interview given by the mother of the teenager who shot 19 innocent kids in a Texas kindergarten school. In the interview, she mentioned that people shouldn't blame her child because he had his own problems. From the interview, I noticed that this was a broken home with no love, no unit and no structure. The teenager who committed the crime didn't get the mother's love or the dad's love because he grew up with his grandmother. He grew up feeling isolated and neglected which led him to have negative thoughts that ended the lives of 19 beautiful souls. Just like a building, a weak foundation can cause it to collapse and kill people prematurely. In comparison to real life, a family's foundation is equally important, because the foundation of that family can either cause evil or good. The Bible admonishes believers to train up a child in a way that when they grow, they will not depart from it. This is why the foundation of a home should be deeply rooted in God, and kids should be trained as part of their moral values to live with each other in harmony and be good to others. Those who are not taught love always think the answer to problems is violence. This further explains why there is a lot of violence in families and in the world. Charity begins at home they say, goes to show you that if everything you learn first is taught at home. Today, there are a lot of parents who are even afraid of their own kids and don't even discipline them at all. Because the kids lack discipline and straightening, they go out and become a public nuisance causing financial loss to the public. A lot of kids don't even talk to their siblings for no reason or whatsoever. A 37-year-old man from North Carolina killed his beautiful wife and two beautiful daughters over a mistress for no reason at all. This story happened in Frederick, Colorado in the year 2018. Till this day, the story still makes me sad because a mother didn't get to see her children get married, graduate and get their first job because the father decided he doesn't have any love again for his family because of his new mistress. It's important as believers we pray so that we don't fall into temptation. Imagine if the man's love for his family was deeply rooted in God, I'm not sure he would have cheated in the first place or even killed his wife and kids as well. A 64-year-old father killed his beautiful two daughters in Texas because his daughters didn't want to be married off for money and they wanted to date outside there. Religion Here, we see that religion isn't the problem but how the person was brought up is the problem. According to the testimony of the two girls before they died, one mentioned that their dad's family uses weapons and violence to settle situations. From the daughter's testimony, one can conclude that the father wasn't raised in a loving home but rather grew up learning wickedness, evil and violence. The father's jealousy ended the lives of his beautiful girls. It is very sad that people and families are losing their lives at the expense of another family member's anger and wickedness. To sum it all up, there is an escape of love in families because the family's foundation isn't deeply rooted in God. Therefore, having said all of this, to love God is to love your family. Additionally, start by forgiving any family member who has done you wrong. Then allow God to handle the rest of your battles. Also, God is the initiator of families, so to neglect God is neglecting your family. It's imperative we love God and love our families as well.